everyone welcome back to my channel i am bringing you this video because i am going to be starting a new challenge for myself it is called the three month jamaican black castor oil challenge this is what the bottle looks like <clears throat> this one's 100 percent uh, natural no salt and it's the tropic owl living now i know what some women are thinking like wait why do you need castor oil your hair is already long all right let me get to it down to it um not everyone's perfect i am especially one of those people and i do have flaws with my hair and I'm going to show you guys it right now. Here it goes. Yes, people, it is my edges. As you can see, this is how the front looks side. The middle is going to look thin right here. Um, and it's how this side looks. This side is not as bad, but it's just right here. So, yeah. Let me give you guys a little backstory of how it first came thin. Um, when I was little, my mom would put my hair in little ponytails around my head. She didn't really know how to do it. She didn't know how to French braid. So she used to do that up until I was in um, fifth grade. Sixth grade comes and I started doing my hair myself, going to middle school. And I learned how to French braid like uh, in fifth, fourth, fourth or fifth grade, I learned how to French braid. Um, on my own head so I was experimenting with my head uh, I would do different styles all right here the sides especially and I didn't really notice that it was a problem until seventh grade hits and someone goes hey she ain't got no edges and then I'm like I kind of already knew but I kind of but I really wasn't really aware about how you know my hair was or my edges were so I was like is she talking about me and ever since that day I just I stopped doing it and then the pro style came yes I said it pro style I used pro style on my edges for years and years and years uh from the time I from seventh grade all the way to like the end of high school maybe to like my senior year of high school I was using pro style and it was really bad because you guys know how horrible that product is especially for your edges and especially when you sweat and I played a lot of sports so basketball track sweating on my edges it'll get crusty dry like flaky and I would just brush it back or put some water on it try to brush it back and it just made it a lot worse so 2010 comes and I do the big chop cut my hair to my shoulder and I switched my gel from the pro style to eco styler gel it was like uh, there's like a clear one and then there's olive oil one I've been using both both are really great for my hair but I was using that to swoop my edges put my little baby hairs down yada 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 it wasn't until I moved out to where I live now that I stopped using the pro style and my little toothbrush because I wasn't going anywhere. I became a stay at home mom and it wasn't a need for me to put my hair, I mean to swoop my edges up. Now, let me tell you guys, I did not pull my hair back literally whatsoever. I wore my hair down about 95% of the time um, until, unless I was working. So when I was working, when I was in California and I was working three days out of the week, I had my hair in like a flip or a little ponytail like like right here or something for work plus I always wore a headband I know I'm gonna get a lot of criticism or a lot of bashful comments but I'm prepared for it it's nothing that I haven't heard my whole life from other people and it's nothing that I haven't told myself so anyways back to the challenge I am starting this challenge because um, I saw a couple of reviews on well a lot of testimonials on YouTube about women growing back their edges with this which was really awesome um, but I didn't see really many people like me, if you get what I'm saying. I saw a lot of, you know, fully black individuals, women going through, going through the same thing that I did, but it, their hair texture wasn't the same. So I just wanted to do my testimony on how it is for my hair. Now I will be putting, applying this on my hair as well. Um, particularly in my roots, edges, stuff like that as a moisturizer sometimes on my hair. I hate the way it smells, but I cover it up with coconut oil serum and I have argan uh, Moroccan oil. So I put that on my hair, which has been really, really helpful. So yeah, so every month I'm going to do a hair update for you guys. Uh, it'll be for three months. So today is uh, May 2nd, so June 2nd, around June 2nd, I'm going to be doing a review on how my edges look and I'll be taking pictures along the way I've been using this product for one week and I am already seeing very good results 
not a lot because it's only been a week but i've been seeing some results uh, around my edges like particularly in this area and i'll put up i think there's three pictures i took before i even started it so you guys can see like if you guys see right here well you guys didn't, don't know how it looks before but you'll see in the pictures how it looked before i started doing the jamaican black castor oil So guys, yeah, that's the end of this video. Please thumbs up and share and I hope I don't delete this video. Uh, just please thumbs up, share and subscribe. I'm going to be doing better with putting out other videos along the way. It's not just going to be every month is going to be the video. No, it's going to be some more videos, makeup videos, whatever videos that I feel like doing that day, Some maybe some vlogs. But I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for listening and to me, blabber, blah, blah, blah. Bye.